What island are we at? What? Il de Wat is the name of this island. Uh, Yesterday, there was a town of Devil, and uh, we could probably pick up a morning ball on the outside. My sailor wife, with her foul weather gear on, and, and I went up for a run up the estuary and found that there's another harbor further up inside there that uh, is kind of over one of these sill blades. And now, there's something in the air, and a sparkly shimmer. Hello, Karen and Tom welcoming you to our Life 4.0, where we explore this amazing planet one anchorage at a time. This video was part of a series where we start from the northwest corner of Spain and go all the way up to the Swedish and Finnish archipelagos in the Baltic Sea. there that sailboat leaving was just tucked in behind there a good spot for the easterly wind going on right now and we had a very gentle breeze sailed across from way over there about 10 miles away is the entrance um, into the Gulf de, Mor de Mordahan Morbahan <laughs> more at hand so, nice gentle day, just enough breeze to do a little sailing if you want, and a beautiful resting spot for the evening once you're done sailing. What island are we at? What? Il de Wat is the name of this island uh, in the Quiberon Bay. Beautiful horseshoe beach. We read about this spot and I'm glad we're able to make it here. boat away. So we're approaching the north side of Belle Isle and uh, it was just a week ago that we were coming in after crossing the Bay of Biscay to the southern side of this island. Um, on the southern side, we took advantage of a walking path that um, looks like it may continue up here. We heard there's a really beautiful walking path around the coast. Um, and we're wondering, could this whole island have a walking path all the way around it? That would be quite, quite a thing. Uh, it's beautiful rolling green hills. the harbor in Suzanne on the island of Belle Isle. Plenty of moorings available. Beautiful little harbor. No shortage of lighthouses here. They've got a green light there, a red light, and then further in the harbor there's another green. Outer Harbor here with mooring balls, plenty to choose from today. And they've got an inner harbor here. There's a little ferry landing here and then an inner harbor. No, just a number. And then all the way inside there is a drying harbor here. Run aground. <sighs> so 
so beautiful here. There's a lighthouse on that point over there. There's a path that goes all the way around this island. This is Bell Island in early May. It's lovely off the coast of Brittany. today, Skippa? Good. Yeah, we've got uh, about 13 knots of wind. Uh, pretty much a beam to us, so we've got one reef in our main and a uh, full jib. So, we're having a good time. And how was your visit to Bell Isle? Bell Isle was lovely. Was a lot of hiking. Craggy. We had 11 boats in the anchorage, 12. In the outer anchorage? I think 14. Last 14. Night, yeah. Which is surprising for early May. And then quite a few rafted up together inside the inner. Uh, we didn't actually record that, but they no. had bow and stern um, buoys you tied off to. And then if you tied off to one of those pairs, it would, uh, anybody could raft to you. So everybody put out fenders, and there were several groups rafting together. And I went up for a run up the estuary and found that there's another harbor further up inside there that uh, is kind of over one of these sill plates. So you go up on high tide, go into the harbor, and then the harbor's dug deeper so that as the tide goes out, you still have, in this case, a meter and a half of water in that little harbor. So pretty wild. You go up these places where you think it's just a dried out riverbed almost, and it ends up there's a harbor with boats in there, including sailboats and keels. So that was interesting. Belle Isle is an awesome island, and uh, we're looking forward to discovering more islands. We're headed off to an island called Gras. Il de Gras. Il de Gras. Um, about 20 miles away, as Karen was saying. So we've got an awesome wind. Um, southwest wind, 16 knots right now. And we're on a kind of a, a reach here, beam reach. Oh, and we got some sailboats coming at us. board up there along with our old one so great conditions here we got a little little swell I wouldn't say it's very annoying it's got a, a pretty gradual ocean swell not a real chop uh, and we're not going right into it so that's nice too so it's very uh, very pleasant conditions here we've got a couple hours three four hours to go to get there and we'll discover Ile de Gras My sailor wife with her foul weather gear on and new life jacket yes. made by Spinlock. Be great to get a uh, endorsement from them. Works really well. For a new life jacket. <laughs> Yesterday we walked out to the lighthouse out there. Good healthy walk. We came back on the main road because it was too tiring coming along the coast. Coastal path goes in and out and in and out along the wall. The little cuts in the cliff up there. It was a fantastic hike. So we're anchored here on the island of Gras and just noticed this huge hydrofoiling catamaran going by with just a main up and a chase boat behind it. And then we've got company over here. Super fancy catamaran with a whole bunch of people on board. Coming in, not sure what they're gonna do. If they're gonna drop their sail and anchor with us or just coming to poke around. It's, oh, it's um, that thing is a trimaran, I think. Oh, wow. Jeez, it's huge. Look at him, it's called Sado, Sodobo Ultima 3. And it's 32 meters long, 
20 meters wide, which is insane. Four meter draft. And then right now they're doing 32 knots. Sotoba Ultima 3. Way down over here. So hopefully we'll get a chance to get a view of them when they come back. And the sun is just setting. We are tucked in behind a little uh, shallow spot up here. You can see the, the waves break on it here in a few moments, right off our bow. Um, sort of weird to see the, the waves breaking right up in front of you. But that is a shallow area. Um, it's a mud flat in the low tide, but it's a neap tide right now, so it's uh, not that low. But there you go, you can see the, the waves breaking off that. Gras just a little while ago, about an hour ago, and uh, we've got sort of a, a light passage here going about 20 miles over to an archipelago called Chenal, uh, again off of the Brittany French coast here. And um, we've got some light northerly winds, and we're motor sailing, not enough to make progress under sail alone uh, to get to our destination in time because we got some. Westerly counter winds coming up in the afternoon. We don't want to have to slam into those or tack. So we're trying to make progress and get over to the uh, island group uh, before those west winds kick in. But uh, it's a little cold morning. It's like 44 degrees when we woke up this morning. So we were in foul weather gear and taking turns on watches. And we'll look forward to exploring uh, these new islands. We didn't go ashore yesterday. Um, we had a good sail across and we got there and uh, it was just a nice view from the boat to the beach. The beach looked wonderful, uh, but we just decided that uh, it was too windy to go ashore and we didn't really want to launch the dinghy. So we saw the island but didn't go on land. This is a much smaller set, a collection of little, almost like rocks out on the, uh, out offshore. Uh, the place we're going to has a beach, so we're going to check that out and hopefully go ashore. Do a little walk in, a little exercise, get off the boat. Alright, I'm venturing up here on the foredeck to check out the land of Ho here. I think there's several islands collected here. Uh, I can see quite a few sailboats there in the distance. Coming or going, and there's a beach straight ahead of us, a couple lighthouses and a lot of shallows, so we gotta watch ourselves carefully when we come in here because um, there's a lot of areas that are below two meters deep. And um, so we wanna be careful we don't swing into those at night while we're on anchor. We just arrived and anchored off of Penfrey. Uh, noted up there in the lighthouse name. So we're out here and we're also with uh, Coast Guard or Marine Gendarmerie boat who just came in before us, so we have to be on good behavior. We've got, um, this, it seems to be like a youth sailing school, uh, and tents set up there, tons of boats, there's more boats in the, sort of behind the knoll there, Hobie Cats and things like that. And we saw them coming into the harbor here, those boats there. They had no wind, so they were rocking the boats back and forth to get up to the morning ball. Small little anchorage here. These guys are living. Yeah. And a lot of nature around, a lot of birds. And we're trying to figure out where we're allowed to walk. They didn't want you to go in the interior there. The sign said, like, no entry, youth school but um, we may walk along here to see if we can check out this lighthouse not sure why but this lighthouse has a moat all the way around so it must have been uh, like a fortress at some point 
The walls look pretty thick before they made it into a lighthouse. So pretty interesting. Beautiful color in the water. Bunch of sailboats and other things down a little around over there. And a lighthouse and maybe a fortification on that little island. There's just all these little scattered islands. Reminds me a lot of some of the places along Maine and Nova Scotia. These rocky outcrops scattered everywhere, keeping you on your toes as you're navigating. And we're all buttoned up for the evening. We got our dinghy raised up. We usually like to get the dinghy up on the davits um, before nightfall. We've had a couple times where uh, some unfortunate event happened overnight. We had to move our position or rain or thunderstorms or whatever. I usually think about Croatia when we talk about those things. Um, and so it's just nice to kind of get everything out of the water so you can maneuver easier. You don't have to worry about backing down over the painter and getting into the propeller or the uh, dinghy flooding with the rain or just it's just another thing to have to watch out for in a um, potentially urgent situation. Way out there on the horizon is a boat that just left the anchorage here. They're sailing off to not really sure where. <laughs> it's funny, I mean, these, the French are definitely avid sailors. They just, if there's any chance to sail rather than motor, they will do it. They will happily, seem like happily sail upwind, downwind, um, light winds, heavy winds. They do it all, whereas uh, most other people, I think Americans, probably the British, uh, other places we've been to, there people are you know, perfectly willing to motor if there's not enough wind or the wind is against where you need to go. So uh, I have to admire the French for that. They definitely are very, very avid sailors. Um, they've got sailing schools all over the place. This island has uh, a very, a world-renowned apparently sailing school uh, for young sailors and they have four spots on the collection of islands over here where they have uh, sailing schools set up, so it's just impressive because there's not much here. The last few moments of daylight here in Pomfrey. Uh, this, this island group off of the Brittany coast. Got a couple boats here keeping our, us company. We had a couple more that were left uh, a little while ago. Not sure where they go at this hour of the day, but a beautiful little light uh, background to this nice lighthouse that we walked around earlier today. Uh, just a beautiful sort of windswept area off the coast here, Brittany. And I just love how this light stands out there against the uh, dropping sun in the sky. So we're getting low tide here. The rocks are showing up a little bit more than they were earlier today. Children swim, and I like this canyon, and it's carved out space. Cliffs like a hand shaking on the day of the earthquake. And I was born in a mason jar.